In today's video, we're making an arbor for my fence gate. To start the build, I cut all the posts to length with my track saw. Now I know that there's multiple ways of doing this. You can use a circular saw or even a hand saw, but this is what I have and this is what I used. Um, it makes it real quick and easy to make these cuts and they are both perfectly square. Now I can start cutting the horizontal supports. So these will hold the two headers that will connect the arbor together. So all I did here was set my miter saw to 60 degrees and I put a line two inches down and just made my cut. Um, this will give it a nice accent piece and will make it look like a really nice harbor. Okay, so as you can see, I already attached some of these um, horizontal supports using these joist ties. I'm using these hex head washers that strong tie cells and they look like really big bolts but all it is is just a washer that has these screws that you just screw it right into place and um, it secures everything really nice. I'm going to be including links in the description so you guys can check those out. I use the same technique to cut the uh, headers that will be holding it all together. Um, and to hold it all together, I used some brackets that I got from Strong Tie as well and put some on the horizontal supports, um, screwed those down with some screws, and then screwed into the headers. Then I just threw everything up there and I was done. Yeah, not really. Uh, so I just took these little accent pieces that run on the headers and made sure to add some screws before I went up there and it just made the process a whole lot faster. Alright, so now the arbor is done and I can start spraying. I did wait about three days after I built it to start spraying because I needed to make sure that the wood was real nice and dry. So I sprayed this using my Wagner Control Pro 170. Um, if you see my other videos, you see that um, this thing is awesome. It doesn't take that long to spray and it's perfect for bigger jobs like this because you can, uh, pour, you can spray straight out of five gallon buckets. Um, I do have other videos where I show how I use this thing and this thing is awesome. The product I'm spraying is called Ready Seal. It's a stain and sealer all in one and it does a really good job at protecting um, all your outdoor projects um, and it dries in about 15 minutes and it has a goof proof uh, technology where basically um, the stain doesn't overlap and there's doesn't create like streaks or anything like that as soon as you spray it on there once it dries it dries all even and it gives you a really nice even finish it's it's really nice and i highly recommend it All right, so that pretty much wraps up the build. I did leave a lot of things out because this was meant to be more of an overview. Um, if you're interested in more details on how I did everything, just check out my Instagram. Um, I have a lot more detail on that. If you're interested in how I'm going to be making the doors for the gate, uh, go ahead and subscribe because that's going to be the next video. So if you're interested, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.